Admiral Zarin's thirst for new technologies for the Empire continues. In addition to the new TIE Defender project, he has also been developing beam weapon technology for use on starfighters such as tractor or jamming beams. The tactical advantages of such technologies are obvious. Zarin has arranged for a large convoy of supplies and equipment from the Sluizvan shipyards to be delivered to his base to continue this research and development. You have been assigned to help escort this convoy to Zarin's base safely. Given the rebels' recent attack on his base and their disabling of its perimeter defenses, we can expect that they may try to intercept this convoy en route to the base. You will again be flying a TIE Advanced Fighter designated Alpha-1 with three wingmen armed with advanced concussion missiles. There will also be two heavy frigates in the fleet, providing heavy firepower and their own complement of regular TIEs to support you. The Rebels appear to be using some form of new warhead technology that we are still trying to analyze. Should any attack occur, be sure to prioritize any incoming torpedo attacks if our frigate's defenses are disabled. The Emperor is most disturbed by the security breach at Zarin's research facility. You must try to gather evidence where you can on who may be responsible for this as we suspect once again that someone within the Imperial Navy gave the Rebels the necessary codes to disable the perimeter defenses of Zarin's base. Inspect the contents of the convoy when you get a chance. Admiral Zarin has organized a large convoy to supply his base with materials for his new beam weapon project, as well as bringing more resources to continue the TIE Defender project. You will be part of a task force that will escort this convoy safely to the base. There will be a midpoint in your journey where the convoy will be at its most vulnerable. We are concerned that the Rebels have inside information about our activities in this area and may attempt to intercept the convoy. Should any attack occur, join with all other TIE squadrons to take down as many of the attacking craft as you can. At least half the convoy must successfully arrive at Siren's base to meet his minimum requirements. ships have arrived safely at the midpoint. Good work inspecting the convoy. Admiral Zarin appears to be shipping large amounts of munitions and supplies. One, attacking craft dead ahead. This is fine. I'm having trouble over here. Another wave of rebels. 
Why we accept several gunships? Quick shot! Acknowledged. Heading home. This is three. Heading home. This is four. Heading home.
The convoy has reached the base successfully. We took some losses, but those losses were acceptable. Alpha One, dock your craft with the research facility. As expected, the rebels intercepted the convoy and attempted to destroy it. Thanks to your efforts, their attack was thwarted with only minor losses. However, they are continuing to employ this new warhead technology that bypasses a ship's shields and temporarily disables its weapon systems, leaving it defenseless. This represents a grave threat to our forces in the future. With the Rebels' guerrilla-style hit-and-run tactics, this new technology would be extremely effective for them, even hitting targets they would normally avoid due to heavy defences. We have directed our intelligence division to find the source of this new weapon as a top priority. Admiral Zarin's convoy was carrying unusually high amount of regular arms and equipment, alongside the new beam weapon technology and the TIE Defender materials. Why he needs such quantities of munitions and supplies is puzzling, and the Emperor will be sure to have questions for him. so careless. Admiral Zarin suspects a rebel spy has infiltrated his research facility. He is investigating the matter. He reports that the rebels have a new weapon technology. Keep me informed. The rebels must not gain any advantage. <laughs> <laughs> 